Hello everybody, welcome to the joy of trucking. We are heading up to Taylor, Pennsylvania from Williamsburg, Virginia. We have an issue with a tire, so stay tuned. Let's see what happens. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Buckle up, let's go. Hey, New Mexico license plate. And a Navion, isn't that what we were looking at to get initially? It's the same as the Navion view. Yeah. Chocolate chip cookies every night yep. instead of a chocolate mint. Yeah. Kevin. 
and didn't ever want to leave. It was a little hotel in Maine when he was on a contract up there. Happy night, chocolate chip cookies. get the tire fixed and then it won't take anything out of our driving time. Now why don't you tell our viewers how you just line that up and organize that? We put, you've got a form message on the tablet to send a message saying over the road maintenance required and I put the location of that truck stop even though we're not there we're driving toward it. It'll be you know two and a half three hours before we get there but they'll already have the work order in place. So I just walk in and say, I'm here to get this tire fixed and I don't have to call and wait until they send the work order and all this stuff. I'm just trying to, trying to be proactive, get it organized ahead of time. And you started with a phone call. Yeah, I called over the road maintenance and they told me to go ahead and send the form. Right. And, and we were a little hesitant to do that, sending just the form. That's why, and isn't that why you decided to call? Because when you did that a few weeks ago? So, you know, when you call, or when you send that form, the first thing that goes in their head is, oh, we better send a truck to, you know, because it's over the road maintenance. Obviously, he's on the road somewhere, and we need to send a truck right now to fix that problem, and they, they call up a contractor. So they did that one, one day. I got to a place, I had a flat tire, I sent the request, it said, I'm at a truck stop, they have a service bay, I wanna get the tire fixed here, it's totally flat. Uh, an hour later I get a call, hi, this is Bob's mobile tire repair, uh, where are you? Can I, I, why don't you just get it fixed where you are? <laughs> you know? And it's more expensive if they send a guy on the road with a truck to fix you, your tire. It's less expensive to pull into a shop and get it fixed at a service bay. But their first reaction is to dispatch a truck from God knows where. That happened to me once. They're going to send a truck from 100 miles away to come and fix my, my tire. I'm like, are you kidding? So I call in first and say, look, let's do this at a truck stop. It's not a, you know, it's not a side of the road emergency where you have to dispatch somebody. So I hope they got it right this time. Yeah. We'll let you know. Right. So, Copilot is suggesting 495, which goes right through Baltimore. And now she's going to keep telling us. She's going to be very insistent. But we've done that route before. Terrible traffic. And we've also gone 270 through Rockville and Frederick, uh, which is much easier and with uh, avoiding all the traffic jams. I actually think that it was faster. And so that's where we're going. This is where you have to choose. And we're choosing the road less traveled to the left. The traffic is lighter and already. And look, immediately. <laughs> There's nobody behind me for 300 yards. This is like, oh, nothing in the mirrors. Very nice. Now she's probably going to 
try to turn us around now. She wants me to turn here and then get over to the other one, but in about 20 minutes she'll catch on and get with us. We'll just turn her down for now. Yeah. Okay. Oh look, Democracy Boulevard. Oh, that I, way I towards no. Democracy. I vote no. What? What other kind of government um, structures, I wonder? Which way to communism? <laughs> or how about an autocracy? Beautiful sunset, but I can see it's not really showing up so well in the video. Oh, now the sun just dipped behind the hills. We are in, are we still in Maryland or in Pennsylvania already? Maryland. Yeah, still in Maryland. Beautiful fall colors. There was a big flock of birds just now hovering over the highway. Now the sun is gone. It was dipping. You could still see the big red fiery ball when we were on top of the hill. Yeah. You can see the colors like that. Shower while they worked on it because you're not supposed to be in your truck. And 
now I don't see any parking spots, so this is gonna be tough. Let's see what we find. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, remember, you can give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the ride with us. You can put your comments and questions below and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and be sure to join us in the next video to see if we find a place to spend the night. With love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye.